the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, grant that we may always conform our will to yours and serve your majesty in sincerity of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. The reason why those who are in Christ Jesus are not condemned is that the law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set you free from the law of sin and death. God has done what the law because of our unspiritual nature, was unable to do. God dealt with sin by sending His own Son in a body as physical as any sinful body, and in that body God condemned sin. He did this in order that the law's just demands might be satisfied in us, who behave not as our unspiritual nature, but as the Spirit dictates. The unspiritual are interested only in what is unspiritual, but the spiritual are interested in spiritual things. It is death to limit oneself to what is unspiritual. Life and peace can only come with concern for the spiritual. That is because to limit oneself to what is unspiritual is to be at enmity with God. Such a limitation never could and never does submit to God's law. People who are interested only in unspiritual things can never be pleasing to God. Your interests, however, are not in the unspiritual, but in the spiritual, since the Spirit of God has made His home in you. In fact, unless you possessed the Spirit of Christ, you would not belong to Him. Though your body may be dead, it is because of sin. But if Christ is in you, then your spirit is life itself, because you have been justified. And if the Spirit of Him who raised Jesus from the dead is living in you, then he who raised Jesus from the dead will give life to your own mortal bodies through his Spirit living in you. The Word of the Lord Such are the men who seek your face, O Lord. The Lord's is the earth and its fullness, the world and all its peoples. It is He who set it on the seas. On the waters He made it firm. Such are the men who seek your face, O Lord. Who shall climb the mountain of the Lord? Who shall stand in His holy place? The man with clean hands and pure heart, who desires not worthless things. Such are the men who seek your face, O Lord. He shall receive blessings from the Lord and reward from the God who saves him. Such are the men who seek him. Seek the face of the God of Jacob. Such are the men who seek your face, O Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord is faithful in all His words and loving in all His deeds. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Some people arrived and told Jesus about the Galileans whose blood Pilate had mingled with that of their sacrifices. At this he said to them, 
Do you suppose these Galileans were, who suffered like that were greater sinners than any other Galileans? They were not, I tell you. No. But unless you repent, you will all perish as they did. Or those eighteen on whom the Tao of Siloam fell and killed them, do you suppose that they were more guilty than all the other people living in Jerusalem? They were not, I tell you. No. But unless you repent, you will all perish as they did. He told this parable. A man had a fig tree planted in his vineyard, and he came looking for fruit on it, but found none. He said to the man who looked after the vineyard, Look here, for three years now, I have been coming to look for fruit on this fig tree and finding none. Cut it down. Why should it be taken up to the ground? Sir, the man replied, leave it one more year and give me time to dig round it and manure it. It may bear fruit next year. If not, then you can cut it down. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friends, how gentle are you with yourselves? What do I mean by being gentle with yourselves? Meaning, do you give yourself a second chance? Um, some of us strive for perfection and yes, in our spiritual life, uh, we really journey towards perfection. But our perfection should be the way God is perfect. And it's quite beautiful that the Gospels parallel um, this perfection also with mercy. Um, be perfect as your Heavenly Father is perfect. Is paralleled with be compassionate as your Heavenly Father is compassionate. And so, if God is compassionate, there must be a reason why He's compassionate. And that is uh, really revealed to us in today's Gospel, uh, in this Gospel according to Luke, where we are told that this one more year to let bear fruit. Some of us take more time. We call it like late bloomers. And there is a particular season that we will start to grow and to grow a bit faster. There's also a particular season where we are pruned. There's a particular season after pruning we will bear fruit. Not all of us grow at the same pace, same length, in the same season. And so Life is a mystery and the human person is a mystery. You and I are also mysteries. Not that we can't be understood, but it means that we have got to continue to allow God to reveal ourselves to ourselves and to be able to see us as God sees us. And that yes, there might be some difficulties that we are facing. Um, and sometimes we find ourselves unable to be set free or to be unblocked. And I think that's where we continue to cry out to God um, for Him to be able to just, with His grace, help us. And let us continue to look to God. Because if we dare to look to God, that means that we have faith and hope in Him who can rescue us and to help us. And so today, let us continue to have this faith and confidence in God's mercy, but also in His wisdom in being able to reveal to us at this season of our lives what He intends of us, um, how He intends to maybe purify us or to strengthen us. But knowing that we can do this because we are safe in His hands and we allow Him to continue to walk alongside with us in this journey back to Him. And now with faith and confidence, we pray in the words our Saviour taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, we pray that benefiting from participation in heavenly things, we may be helped by what you give in this present age and prepared for the gifts that are eternal. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.